We're dropping in to OcaliCon 2014. Christina Rosenbergs is live at the Innovation Playground. Christina, welcome back. So thrilled to have you back again today. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. And for people who weren't watching yesterday, OcaliCon is uh, 2014, amazing event. You can still get to it today. Uh, and for the first time, they're having the Innovation Playground where they're showcasing products that are innovative, cutting edge, that help individuals on the autism spectrum. We, we saw some amazing products yesterday, but I'm so excited because I, I see the two people who are standing there next to you, Christina, tell us who's with you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm very excited to have them with me as well. I have Claude Bo from RoboKind and Milo the Robot is here to talk with us today and, and show some of his um, expressions. He so. is so cute. I can hardly stand it. And my son is one of Milo's biggest fans. I cannot wait to show him this uh, in the show later on tonight when he's home from school. So Claude, talk to us about RoboKind and talk to us about Milo. All right, well, Robokine is actually a pioneer in something called social robotics. Uh, we are all social beings, and in the development of our ability to interact, there are certain things that children need to learn, and we were able to develop a program that made this robot a humanoid expression of, of, of emotion. And children with autism really struggle with emotion because there's so much going on. And we found in early research that they'd rather work with the robot than an adult. So we decided to use that strength that they have to help them develop their weakness. I love it. It's not it. uncommon to see them wave at the robot and begin to talk to him, where in other cases they would not talk to an adult. Absolutely. I see that in my son. So I understand that you can show a little bit of that emotion to us that Milo uh, does so well. Can, you, All right. can so we we're see? I'm going to show you some things and, and I'm going to get some assistance here. Okay. So I'm just pick anyone you want to pick. If you focus on the robot. Oh. And, and this is very critical for children. As they look at some of these expressions, there is a curriculum that we provide Ooh. staff which helps children understand the difference between a sad face, a happy face, the context, <laughs> when I may have a tantrum. I so, love it. Try a few more. Anything else? Good. Yeah. What's very unique to the program is that we have worked with experts in the field of autism to do three things. One, Milo can speak many different languages, and in the case of English, he uses very controlled language so children begin to understand things as they are related with what we call visual support. I'm going to point to something here which you may not see, but pictures actually come up. If I said train, you'll see a picture of a train. If I say hi, you'll see somebody waving. It really helps children incorporate language. But the other thing that he does, he does a personalized learning plan for every child. And we have over 500 video vignettes that show children doing the behaviors with other children. We call that video modeling. And we actually do data collection for staff and for teachers and parents so they can see the progress that children make. I got to tell you, I'm blown away. He's he's amazing. The work that you've done with him is just amazing. You got to tell us where can people get access to Milo? Where can they be using Milo in conjunction with their children? All right. Well, we'll start off with them. They can visit our website, www.robokindrobots.com. And as they visit the website, they can hear about the authors who actually put together the curriculum as well as they can see some things that, ro that the robot can actually do. In terms of what we have done in terms of uh, using the program, we work with the Autism Treatment Center in Dallas, as, as well as a number of sites that are going to do a, what they call a fidelity check to see how well he works with different populations. But so far, the feedback has been fantastic. Children, when they meet him, they don't really want to leave, but he becomes a friend for them. Yeah. And that's half the battle, keep them engaged, get them to learn and collect the data to show the progress. I love it and I love you and I love him. This is just remarkable. So how many Milos exist right now? Are there many Milos or are there just a few well, Milos? Right now we have over 50 Milos uh, in the U.S. 
and uh, some of them are at the university for continued research. We are setting up about 35 partnership sites for validation of fidelity of the content, as well as in other cases where we're using Milo to help other children outside of autism to learn some basic social skills that affect their ability to work in classrooms. Well, I, honestly, I'm, I'm gobsmacked here. I'm just blown away. He's incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I hope that you'll let us know where you're going to be because after this, every parent's going to want to bring their child to see this. And so I want to know every time you're at an event so I can tell people on the show that where they can go to meet Milo. Well, we actually have a schedule of the events that we'll be going to over the next couple of months on the website. So you feel free to, uh, okay. to visit that and convey that. We do really appreciate the excitement that he's generated and your support. Absolutely, he's remarkable.